Hey guys, Lincoln Parks here, and I want to thank you for joining me on today's video. Today, I am coming to you from the cornfields of South Carolina, Fairfax, South Carolina, and um, I wanted to, first of all, give great thanks to all of the veterans. Um, you guys, on this great Memorial Day, I want to just thank you for all that you do for us and, and those that have come before us and have fought for our liberties and our freedoms, I want to thank you. Those that the, the family members that have lost loved ones in wars and, and, and just for people just fighting for our freedoms, I want to thank you today because this day is dedicated strictly to you. Um, and the reason why I'm coming to you from these cornfields here in South Carolina is because of a purpose. When I walked outside um, and I saw this vast cornfields, I mean, it goes for miles and miles. I just had to shoot a video today about this. And, and the reason why I wanted to shoot this video is because of entrepreneurship and leadership. Now, uh, it's two things that I wanted to share with you uh, where entrepreneurship and leadership can come in um, in your business in in the cornfields. OK, uh, and that's because there was a farmer that decided to plant this corn and he had to toil the lands in order for that to happen. So he, he got on his hands and feet. Uh, he toiled the lands and planted this corn field. I mean, it goes for miles and miles and miles. So imagine the amount of work that he had to do and, 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 and some of the helpers had to do in order to, to make this happen. Now, where this comes in as for you as an entrepreneur is, it's gonna take hard work. It's gonna take dedication. And it's gonna take commitment in order for you to toil the lands uh, and, and to reap the benefits of your labor. Now, imagine when the season comes, when this farmer can harvest all of this corn. How many people do you think are gonna be fed based off of his toiling of the lands? thousands of individuals are going to be fed. Now you need to think about that the same way about your business. Who is going to be fed? Don't be afraid to share your business or whatever you do with someone else. Okay? Because you're toiling the lands right now. You're making things happen. You're talking to people. You're telling them about your business. You might you might not it might not go the way that you expect it to go. Okay? But one thing that you need to continue to do is continue to toil and plow the lands because when your harvest comes, when your season comes, you're gonna feed so many people based off of the hard work that you do. So I just wanted to leave you with a message today that you continue to toil, you continue to plug away, you continue to go to that event, you continue to go to that meeting, you continue to talk to that business owner, you continue to get shot down, you continue to do what you have to do to be a great entrepreneur wherever you are in the cities that you are. Because when this corn grows up and that harvest it, that takes place, a lot of people will be fed. So continue to stay for your harvest because a lot of people are gonna be fed when your harvest season comes. So I just wanted to share that great video with you today, this, this, this great message with you today. Um, stick and stay for your harvest because your season is coming. So as I always say, I want you guys to continue to lead like you. Don't lead like anybody else. Lead like you. This is Lincoln Parks coming to you from the cornfields of South Carolina. Hope to see you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.